to make a guitar feels like, it feels like a journey. It feels like, it feels like you had to travel somewhere because the whole process is one of gradually making smaller and smaller and smaller minute adjustments to this finished thing until finally it's done. So you start with big tools, big rough cuts, big pieces of wood, and slowly start removing everything that doesn't need to be there. So the whole thing is this gradually diminishing, increasingly careful process until you finally get where it needed to go, and then you just stop touching it. At a certain point, I don't know if many artists can really separate themselves out of the work they do. And so for me, as I relate to a building a guitar, there are so many different factors and so many variables that can influence the way your thought process, the way you're gonna go about something, just the very motions of your hands that day, how sharp your tools are. There are so many different variables that you're gonna approach it with the knowledge that you're there in that present moment and the instrument is gonna reflect the experience that you've had as a builder plus the inspiration that you have in that very moment. So really, an instrument ends up being a snapshot of what that builder was like, their whole state of being at the time that it was built. There's so many different avenues and so many different seemingly unrelated activities that go into building one guitar. Each have their own unique kind of pleasures that go with them. Like I love sharpening tools still. Just the peripheral activities of making a tool ready to do its task is wonderful. I love bending the sides and feeling a piece of really stiff wood that grew straight and true, feeling it slowly be formable and take on this new shape where it's really gonna sing. Carving braces and wringing every last bit of tone or volume out of a diaphragm, a, this moving plate that's the top of a guitar, or the back of a guitar, and getting the, just the right size and shape on every one of those components. They all have a certain, they've all got their own charms. Anyway, so I don't know if I could really say there's one particular part of building a guitar, but I will say that to tune it up when it's finally done, and play the first couple of notes and hear how all these parts for the first time are working together, that's, that's pretty special. The steel string guitar in particular is a very young instrument. If you look at the, the music world as a whole, you look at pianos, which have hundreds of years of development behind them. You look at the bowed instrument world, violins where the violin really reached its modern form 300 years ago. You look at clarinets, you look at all these instruments that have hundreds of years of development and reached a certain level of refinement where they were more than what a musician could ask for. The steel string guitar is really only about 90 years old now. And right from its birth, it was built in a factory setting. Classical guitar tradition is pretty large, but not really the steel string guitar world, kind of what we consider the modern guitar. Over my working lifetime, what my goal is is to take this thing that we've built, these guitars that are really consistently good, they're real expressive, they're fine instruments, but continuing to re refine and develop them until they turn into something that is more than what a musician could ask for. That's what's next.